This is a short instructional demo for the logic function enhancement, just to walk through how to set up a logic function. Uh, we're going to be doing this on the bottom side of this part, very similarly to how it was done in the what's new demo for the variable table enhancements. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and go into the variable table. Let everything get loaded up. And we are going to uh, be suppressing this instance if the distance between this foot and this foot is 230 millimeters or less. So we're not going to need that extra thing. If it's over 230 millimeters, then we're going to need this, this extra foot for support here. So in order to do this, you're going to notice that this is both a sync and ordered part. Uh, and what we're going to do is we need to add suppression values to start. So these are our three objects here, or our three features that make up this uh, this this one main foot feature and whenever you look at this in the version we're going to do this is automatically being reordered to directly uh, replicate what you're seeing here so it should be the last protrusion and the last two rounds on this entire part uh, but just to show how to do it uh, go ahead and right click on your protrusion add a suppression variable that's going to add a suppression variable inside of the variable table and we're going to do that for both of these rounds as well. Add suppression variable, add suppression variable. Now of course at this point if you had this open while you did that you can hit refresh and it'll make sure to update the variable table according to that if it hadn't already. So to get started uh, find our protrusion 265 and you'll notice we have a uh, suppression variable in there as well as our two rounds 469 and 470 so those are going to be the last two rounds as well both of these are now going to have a suppression variable associated to them the next part we need to do is create a logic function to control it so I'm just going to type in logic function just to create a new uh, user variable and set an arbitrary value of zero just to get it put in place and then we're going to go and add our formula inside of our formula there's going to be an option whoops inside of our formula there's going to be a logical uh, selection that you can uh, make here go ahead and select if from the function name and click next so for the condition this is where you set if a certain value does not meet these standards then you set your your logic function to these values so for this uh, the variable we're going to look at already exists between these two feet and actually let me double check and make sure what that is um, it's in one of these sketches foot distance foot under bar distance so let's go down to our logic function logical if and then we have if foot under bar distance is greater than 230 uh, we're going to make this a true value of 1 otherwise false value of 0 so as we create that that's going to uh, to create this uh, value of 1 I might have done that backwards just then let's see what it looks like whenever we put these suppression values in so now we're going to set this guy equal to our logic function whoops equal to our logic function okay so that that suppressed it so we need to do it the opposite direction so edit this it needs to be if foot distance is greater than 230 set that equal to 0 else 1 so just do it backwards from what I did the first time around that way we're set to 0 while it's being shown so this is going to equal logic function and then it should show that part and we're going to do that for both of these suppressions as well so equals logic function to unsuppress equals logic function to unsuppress so those should be showing and then if this guy goes under 230 or we set it equal to 230 it'll change this value to a 1 which will then change these suppression values to a 1 which will suppress that so uh, let's take a look at how that works so we can go into our sketch change our foot distance from 250 to 230 hit enter 
should automatically update those variables and uh, automatically suppress that as well. So that is the uh, the workflow for the logic function uh, that we used inside of this demo uh, showing the suppression variables as well as uh, as utilizing that if statement for this logic function.